Well, good evening, laddies, lasses, and lassos, and welcome to my Villanock. <laughs> and today we are going to look at amazing things, inspire you, do evil, evil, naughty deeds, and I will see you in the everlasting, glorious hellfire. All right, all right, we can, we can reduce the ASMR maybe for the stream. We're going to spike the audio to hell otherwise. Good evening, laddies. Ladies, lasses, and lasses, welcome to the click you smell. Absolutely astounding. Today, don't let anyone else tell you my advice. Do you want a friend to come with you to eternal hellfire? Of course you want. Get yourself a mini plushie today. Link in the description. There is actually, uh, like, like what do you call it? Money off and stuff if you buy more than one. So there is no reason why you shouldn't buy 20. Buy 20 today of each. Yes, indeed. Who doesn't want it? They're absolutely adorable. I will buy probably 200 of each. Anyway, today we're doing something Absolutely astounding. We're going to look at r slash found Satan, which is a devious subreddit. Have you ever wanted to do pranks or do things in the world that you feel devious about, but without doing, like, real harm? Well, this subreddit is for you. Enjoy. Mwah. Ooh, I just feel evil today. I put on my vest so I can look like, you know, a British villain. But then I have to talk in like, Oi, welcome everyone. I am very villainous. <laughs> evil after. Oi, bruv. You will succumb because I'm so evil. All right. All right. Now I'm moving on with the video. Baby, they got horses. Aw. Should we tell her that fence was electric? No. Hell no. She doesn't know it's electric, but what? <laughs> what the f Baby, but you're how, scaring the horses. But how do you not know it's electric? <laughs> My God. Maybe it's just me that grew up on a good old farmer. Yeehaw. But like, <laughs> but like, that's pretty common knowledge. What no? you do? <laughs> that is so mean. One thing to keep an eye out for, though, when it comes to electric fences, especially close to animals and horses, be careful with it, because if you grab the fence and touch the horse at the same time, they will get shocked, too, so the horse might get frightened, and, and you know, that's never a good thing. So, a good heads up of safety for anyone out there who's planning on chewing on electric fence. I suppose don't chew on electric fence, please. I actually had a summer job a bunch of years ago, when I was like a teenager, putting up electric fence, and I got shocked more than once. And that was a pretty strong one. <laughs> Who needs caffeine while you're working? Well, you can just have a little bit of a shocker. Oh, yes, indeed. 8 divided by 2 times parentheses 2 plus 2 equals question. I have seen this one circulates the internet once every five months. God damn it. I took three calc classes. It's 16, bro. I have two math degrees. It's one. <sighs> <sighs> No! I hate this question. I, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. We haven't had Click Academy in a while. Let's do a paint, please. My secret weapon for knowledge. Paint! You cannot spell paint without pain, baby. Booyah! Welcome, ladies and, and Click Academy. So today, we have a classical math example that we have never, ever, ever seen before. The example is 8 divided, which they use this sign for some reason because they're absolute troglodytes, two parentheses, two plus two. Isn't that just gorgeous? And they're like, wow, what could this be? The problem is that not a single sane person writes an equation like this. Dear God, because it's unclear and it's popo. If you follow PEMDAS, for example, which I don't like because people always forget that multiplication and division is the exact, exact same thing. You can divide something by two or multiply it by a half. It's the same thing, right? The, the priority is the same. So if you use this for this equation, having something like this simply means there's a multiplication sign in between these two, right? So if you only write out this equation as it is, you have 8 divided by 2, which comes first, which is 4, and then you have 4 times 4 because the parenthesis is 4, and that's 16. That's the correct answer. If you want to write this as a normal person, as I would do if I was having any math class, I would write it like this, if you want to be more clear. Because another way people interpret this is have a parenthesis around it like this, which of course would only make sense if it's written like this. You know? Here, the answer is 8 divided by 8 which is one, which is how a lot of people interpret it. So, my point is, write equations like this. No one writes it like this. It's a struggle that way of writing it. It upsets me every time I see it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Next meme. I should have a little soundtrack for this. Uh, hold on. Oh, Click Academy. We learn things that bring us great pain. There we go, done. Give me my movie series. Netflix. 
Yeah. When I was nine months pregnant with my son, my mom and I were on the side of the road, struggling with a flat tire. A car with four men stopped, not to help, but to ask for directions to a local golf course. My mom sent them 15 miles in the wrong direction. <laughs> and she is the legend who shaped me. That's kind of odd though. Like, you know, there, there are two ladies, one is pregnant, kind of like emergency, be like, hey, where, where's the golf court? Priorities for your fellow people. You got what you deserved, fellow man. She cheated on me? I never left immediately? I made sure I impregoed her, named my son, gave her a good life for one year, then when I found someone better, I left her reminding her that I can't marry a cheater. She's now a single mother? I would say that's genius if the child wasn't involved, because I hate when people get children involved in this poo. Yes, indeed, and also like genius, like, what do you mean? You're just gonna be stuck on child support, my dude, <laughs> like... Cheating, bad, move away from cheating, but like... <laughs> This is just silly, on many levels. I don't think it's a gotcha, you just messed up everyone's life, probably including your own. Asking a stranger, can you make sure nobody takes my bag, while pointing to someone else's bag? That is so e oh my god, that's so evil! Holy crap! That's genius though, but so evil! What is the worst way to hurt someone? Pretend that you're their best friend for 10 plus years? One day just tell them that you don't want to see them again. Say you actually hate them and were faking being friends. Watch them question all their relationships and have a long-lasting emotional damage. This just sounds like someone speaking who had this happen to them. This is... <laughs> you know, there, there's like the small petty revenges and haha funny things like hiding, you know, every second sock of all the pairs of socks of someone you live with so they have no socks that matter. You know, that's like haha, evil. This is just like 10 years? <laughs> Why though? The ending is a great joy. Oh, the video is really long. Oh, but it's one. Oh, that's so classic. I think I've seen probably five different variations of this, where there's one like significant other or a roommate just messing. Oh my god, this is so painful. <laughs> I I also know myself that I would be going nuts if this was me. I would do exactly. I would like tape it. I'd be like, freaking duct tape that shit. <laughs> oh my god. And then you think you know, there's probably trash inside of it, you know, or something like that. <sighs> and it never stops! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, the satisfaction. <laughs> I got the spare key! No, 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 I'm looking. And that was the last we ever saw of his friend, rest in pieces. He used the very same trunk as he used to prank him to hide the body. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth it. R slash teenagers. Lemao. I hacked some guy's school computer and put Oompa Loompa adult naughties on it. And here's another post. I basically got hacked in school M15. Somehow in school, someone found out my school computer account passport and made a new folder labeling it important. Obviously, I click on it because I don't remember making this folder. And when I open it, it was an orange man, looked like an Oompa Loompa, completely naked with a big pee pee. I got the tension and got the blame <laughs> that my school thinks I'm doing it in the middle of class. The Oompa Loompa looking frickers. They all think I'm a perv. Should I leave the school? I'm gonna be honest. I'm like 50 50 between if this post is actually made by the same person. You know, if the person is like, haha, I made this prank, and then just have an alt account and be like, oh, ha, ha, I'm the one who fell for the prank. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I've been on the internet enough to see enough bullshittery. But it's still kind of a funny story. Planting fake fossils to give some future biologist short glimmer of hope before carbon dating it. So here is a little fairy fossil I put inside of a rock. This is so evil. Oh my god. This could actually be like a fun thing if you do it on purpose. You know, imagine you have a theme park and kids run around on like a beach with fossils and you place like cool fake fossils. Like, ooh, a mini dinosaur skull and stuff like that inside these shaped rocks. I mean, everyone knows it's not real, but it would be a super fun treasure hunt for kids, right? That'd be super cool. That's like the wholesome twist to this. But I also do love the thought of like in a hundred years, someone finding this and be like, oh my god, that made the breakthrough. And they're like, oh my god, it's plastic. <laughs> and then be like, who did this? I think future historians are gonna be like, there is so much frickery going on in what we leave behind us. Half of it is just bad pranks. <laughs> Gemini Home Entertainment. 
informative. I am a fourth grade teacher. I will definitely show this to my students. For those that don't want to watch it to find out, it's very much a take on 70s era classroom film strips, with background music but static slides with info on each planet. Starts getting off by mentioning that Jupiter's red spot is not an eye, then inserts a star-like planet called Iris, which blinks like an eye and it's said to be watching us. After Neptune saying that Neptune's dark spot is an eye, <laughs> then mentions Pluto, then goes back to Neptune's eye, which shoots beams at other planets. <laughs> Poor kids, man. Poor kids. This is like believing Santa Claus is real until you're 25, but like on crack. Okay, to clarify, for anyone watching, this Santa Claus isn't real, it's actually Satan in a Santa outfit. Thank you. For those not familiar with an upper decker is when you take the lid off a toilet tank and finish your poo in there. The result is that every time the toilet bowl refills from the tank, it will be dirty poo water. Did this as early as middle school all the way through high school, at least every couple months growing up. Do this probably over a hundred times. Boss at first job is a butthole. Upper decker. Bartender fricked up my drink. Upper decker. Got cheated on. Hmm, <laughs> upper decker. I got the wrong order from McDonald's drive through and inside an upper deck. I can't stop and I won't stop. You frick with me, you know what's coming to you. Upper decker. I mean, I think my toilet is one of those designs where you can't like fully open a top lid in that way so i feel feel safe knowing that yes can i start a business just like selling locks for toilets <laughs> is that a thing my ex is still logged into twitter on my phone i oh. could be cliche and tweet i'm a douche lol <laughs> no instead every few days i will tweet something he would totally say but he will never remember tweeting it. Slowly, the slightly out of place tweets will drive him insane. Victory. You are Satan. You go, Satan! <laughs> you go, Satan! That is so evil. Because anytime I know friends, or myself for that matter, that has someone mess with their social media account, right? It's usually pretty obvious. They post really wacky stuff, or they post obvious cringe things, or stuff you would never say. You know, it's very obvious when you see your social media that someone has been messing with it. But in this case, it will just drive you nuts. Like, imagine if I log into Twitter, scroll my page a bit, and I realize that, wait a second, two weeks ago, I made a tweet that's like, Hold on, why are my feet so hairy? And be like, yeah, that could totally be something I would just crap post on Twitter one of the days, but I don't remember posting it. What the heck? I'm not that old, am I? Please. The click at not the click. Oh, wait, that's me. That's my tweet made it to found Satan. A two plus two times four is 16, 12, eight. This was, this was so funny because it got so much engagement. And there's no real answer in this. It's just pure rage bait, and people in the quote retweets and comments were so pissed. <laughs> oh god, I love Twitter sometimes. Clicky will be able to see his face in the next found set in video. It's called job insurance. Yeah, he would totally do that on purpose too. I I really want to see the results. Right, let me let me let me check real quick. What are the results of my glorious tweet? Hold on. So the results of this tweet is that 63% of 9,000 people voted for 16. Good job. And then 16% voted for 12 and 20% voted for 8. I, I don't know how anyone got these. None of it is correct. This is all bullshit. The answer is quite simple. Just send pictures of the emotional support demon and land shark on a date in the park in the evening. Ooh, please do. My Twitter is in the description. Tag me in those pictures if you have them. Thank you. And also buy these ones. Like, no pressure, but like, you really should. I fear no man, but that pole leans closer than whispers. It scares me. Two plus two times four equals ten. If someone says something different, then this is someone is a disgrace to society in of itself. Indeed. This is all for just rooting out disgraces. <laughs> Follow me for more rage bait. This is like an infinite content cycle. I just post some BS on Twitter. It makes it to Reddit. I react to it in a video, which probably makes it back to Twitter. And then the cycle continues. This is gonna be glorious. I've just done infinite content. I can do this forever. This plays a screaming goat every few minutes. <laughs> you can push the button to test it, but to get it ready, you remove the adhesive cover, then take the tab out mm -hmm. and push the button to begin. It will be silent and then hide it. When your friend hears the scream and eventually finds it, he will remove it and break the glitter pouch. Oh, this back. is... Gotcha. 
Now clean this up. Gotcha. There's also a pun in there. This is so evil and disgusting. God, I love it. You're not only wasting their time by searching for this little screaming pile of poo for a long time. It also puns you and glitters your entire floor. This is amazing. Oh my god. If, if, you, if hell is actually real, it's just gonna be a constant stream of these cards. Hard to enjoy pumpkin spice day when this is the reception I get. Don't want to get anyone in trouble, but sad to see. God is not real. I am sorry you had to find out this way. That is so petty. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go ahead and park like an idiot. I have something for your fancy backup camera. Let's tape this up and oh, Yes, indeed. I hope you have heart attack insurance. The click at not the click. Oh, it's me again. How beautiful. Some people have told me my last math quiz was incorrect. My bad. Here's a fresh one. 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 1 is 50, 736, and 638,920. 5. I got 5, but 5 isn't an option, but 50 is closed. Must be 50. High schoolers doing math. Yeah, one thing I would do if I felt a bit satanic and I wanted to be a teacher would be, for example, to have a quiz and then put every answer as C, you know? So it's like the same answer and it's... Because whenever you do a test, you're like, no way, there can't, there can't be more than like three in a row that is the same answer, right? But then the whole test is that. And you just watch the poor students like claw their hair out because they know this can't be it. But their calculations don't add up and it's really simple math. <sighs> Preparing you for real life, Timmy, how does it feel? If your answer is not five, I have every right to hit you across the head with a cast iron frying pan. Let's see what, what the replies actually said in the tweet. So, uh, 5,600 votes on this one, and 56% voted for 638,920. 33% voted 50. Fascinating. Almost no one voted 736. God, I'm disappointed. That was the right answer all along. <sighs> None of y'all can math. Go, Vardan. There goes nothing. Okay, hold on one second. You ready? See me coming toss. No! Oh, oh, the prank is that the kid believes he's invisible. That's the prank. So it's like a it's like a backwards magic trick and everyone is in on it, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so cruel. Right on, if you're here, take a picture with me. <gasps> that is so mean. Oh no, this is so mean. Don't tell me they have staged a picture. Don't tell me they went so far they actually staged a picture. They did stage a picture! This is such a good prank. But I'm not sure I would do this to my worst enemy. This is like traumatizing, man. And a kid is like just at that age where they kind of are getting old enough to see through it. But if every one of the families in on it, they will still like follow the peer pressure, so to say. They're not old enough to be so independent. They're gonna be like, yeah, there's obviously BS and just walk out, you know? That is so evil. Oh my God. I poked holes in my parents' condoms, which led to the birth of my little sister. And I kept it a secret for 25 years. But years later, my mom still says, I don't know how she happened. What, what, what a little poo child. I highly recommend cutting your children's sandwiches like this. The look of incredulity on my 10 year old's face was priceless. And even if they're at school and you can't see it in person, <laughs> you'll know. Oh, this is a good one. It's like, Timmy, if you don't behave, I will cut your lunch sandwiches unevenly. This is almost as much of a horrible threat as saying like, Hey, Timmy, you better behave or I will miss you slang in front of your friends. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, lit drip. Am I right, squad fam? No cap. That would just make any like 13 year old cringe and die on the spot. Want to prank your friends? Freeze Mentos in ice cubes. Serve them time bomb sodas. Does this actually work? Oh my, this is, this is so genius. And e oh my God. Maybe I need to do like an April Fool themes party and I just have stupid stuff like this, like harmless jokes that are like a little bit messy, but you know, they won't harm anyone for real. Like exploding soda. <laughs> Scavenger hunt, find the hidden objects, look at all these fun objects. There is no star. No, but see, that is a trick. It's a service to the parents. You create this fun game, like kids run around and find this, but one of them doesn't exist. So you can keep the kids entertained for hours. And you can just sit there and like do nothing. 
It's amazing. This was on purpose. Be grateful. Me and my friend had a 0.5% difference going in middle school. I would score 90, he would score 90.5. Around the middle of the year, I finally got a perfect score and I couldn't help showing off to him, thinking that I finally broke the pattern. Then he showed me his 100.5? It turns out the teacher knew about our feud and gave him those extra 0.5 points just to mess with me. It was a whole conspiracy involving the teacher and it went on for six months. Oh my god. I remember back when I was... 10 years old or so, I used to look really similar to one of my best friends. I'm not sure how similar we actually were, but like we wore similar clothes, we had a similar haircut, same hair color, same eye color, all that kind of stuff. So like, at first glance, if we did, if you didn't know us very well, we probably looked quite similar. So what we would always do is that we would swap seats. So like a teacher that was trying to learn the names of the class, we were like always swapping seats back and forth as soon as they turned their back on us. It was really funny. At this point, I'm not sure if the teacher was just playing along with it to amuse us because she thought we were funny kids just having fun, but that was good times. Those were good times. Who is the bad guy in history who isn't actually a bad guy? No, 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 this, no, this is a mistake. This thread is a mistake. No, 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 no. Deleted. Deleted, deleted, everything is also downvoted to hell. Deleted, deleted, deleted. <laughs> There's not a single reply left in the thread. I have a vague idea of what the thread would look like and it's not pretty. You're a burglar, but you only steal things to slightly inconvenience your victims. What are you stealing? I would just leave a note saying thanks for the free stuff and not actually take anything. So they will always wonder what was stolen for the rest of their life. That, that's so cruel. That's so cruel. I thought you were gonna say, like, every second sock, so there are no matching pairs of socks or something. It's like, monetarily, the damage is very minimal, <laughs> but <laughs> it's incredibly frustrating. But this is even worse. The monetary is, like, zero, but it still causes distress. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. What? I don't- I don't get it. I don't understand. What is- Oh no, the comment section. My sister is mad at me. I don't know why. Look at this absolutely butchered ice cream. What did you do with your feet? Oh my god! Why are we- God, I just felt my heart skip a beat. Redoing my counters and drop this into the crack. The money and passports are buried in the backyard. <laughs> this is almost as good as that one time I saw someone build an entire plastic skeleton into like behind the cupboard <laughs> that had like a full worker's outfit and stuff. So when someone redoes the kitchen in like 20 years, <laughs> they're gonna be like, Oh my god, someone died here! Then Oh, oh wait, it's fake. <laughs> That is so fun. I wish that was made normal. That every house owner leaves, like, harmless but funny easter eggs for the next owners. That'd be so fun. Or, like, really quirky treasure hunts, you know? It's like, the drugs are hidden in the chimney, but it's just, like, it's just toys for the kids, you know? That'd be... That'd be so good. Bro, I'm at this bar... Uh, place kind of thing right now. I'm a little drunk. And what the f*** is this bathroom? Like, look, this is the regular bathroom. All right. The bathroom. And then you it's look pretty up. neat. And it's like a, an exact replica of No, wait, that is down. so cool. Oh my god, it's so trippy. I'm holding the phone to my face right now to show you. Like, what the f***? <gasps> that is so good! And I just went to wash my hands, and here I am thinking that this is the sink. Oh, but nah, look at this the No f way! Bro, no like way! I'm leaning over the sink, like, I almost got f***ing splashed. Also, that I is so there, good. and it was cute. It was cute and I felt cute. No, that's very good. It's important to feel cute after going to the bathroom. That's like half the point. But also like, that's a badass bathroom. Oh my god, I can just imagine being completely in my own zone. Going in there, a bit drunk, a little bit out of it, and it's... Wait a second! <laughs> That is so fun, though. I want to build one like this. If I ever have an extra bathroom I don't know what to do with, and I'm having, like, a housewarming party or something, I would do this just to see the faces of my friends. Just kidding. I don't have any friends. BDSM stands for Bridge, Domino, Sudoku, and Mahjong. Just Google BDSM grannies to see for yourself. Your reservation in the warm place is hereby confirmed. Ooh, VIP ticket to hell. Yes, indeed. It's a beautiful pin. And I know y'all need it, you little horrible people. No, just kidding. I love you. I'll see you in hell. Um, what is gaslight? You know what it is. Uh, I, I, I do not. Yes, you do. <laughs> is this what comes up in the dictionary when you search for gaslight? <laughs> New parent idea. Number one, take pictures of you pulling baby out of spacecraft in forest. Two, hide pictures in attic for a kid to find when he's 10. That is so good. Oh my God, that's so good. The worst part is I wonder if the kid will actually tell you 
when they find it, you know? Or are they gonna be so freaked out that they hide the fact that they found it from you? So you don't know that they found it, but they're running around to their friends and be like, Guys, I think I'm an alien! This could spiral really fast. I would pay to see, like, a documentary on this. I feel cruel, but I am morbidly curious. A drinking in a bar for three hours before finding out Satan tiled the bathrooms. That is not something you want to stare at when you're when you're a bit uh, when you're a bit drunk. You take what they love the most, their electronics, but not a device, the charger. Then the realization sinks in. The fear in their eyes grows bigger and bigger. They use the device less and less. They have to watch helplessly as the battery surely but slowly dies out, just like the light in their eyes. Satan. I had this happen with an old laptop of mine, but it was that I broke the charger, uh, no one stole it, but it was that kind of feeling. It was like, oh no, I only have five hours left to lose it, no, no! This is what it would feel like to be stranded on a deserted island with your phone and nothing else. It would be like, oh my god, the reception is bad, but I can't, like, use it all the time because it will die, and then maybe the reception comes back, but but then I won't have charge of it. Oh god. I took 2,500 milligrams of THC edibles an hour ago, and it's only getting worse. What do I do to get rid of it? I'm super stoned. Bro, I am so sorry for you. Just go outside now and hold on to the grass as tight as you can so you don't fall off the earth. This is about to be one of those hard life lessons. Oh. This guy threw a Grim Reaper costume on a drone and proceeded to chase people around with it. He is my new hero. That is so good. I need to do this for like a Halloween party when the guests come over and just fly around. Like, <laughs> that is so good. You could traumatize some neighborhood kids with this. Bro, wasps are asleep in the early hours of the morning. This is not a joke lived on the countryside for many years. Wake up at like 5-6 a.m. and remove the hives by hand. They won't attack you. I do love the fact, like the image in my head of like napping bees and stuff like that. It's very cute. Very cute. Or wasp in this case, maybe less adorable. Uh, don't do this. Th this is not gonna work. No. No. <laughs> no. When someone says you can't be both passive-aggressive and nice. Holding the door slightly open for people. Oh, don't worry, bro. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit tight. Just go through. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. Go squeeze me. Gorgeous. This is something to aspire to. Fill a humidifier with milk and invite all your lactose intolerant friends over and turn it on. <laughs> See what happens. Slow down there, Satan. I just imagine this would uh, create like a fog of milk that would be warm and go bad really fast. So all your walls and floor would just smell like rotten milk after a couple hours. I don't think that would be so nice. Top 5 Minecraft Tips Number 1. Throwing items at cacti sends them to your spawn. 2. If you ever see a creeper, hug them to get free cake. 3. If you use hardcore, jump into the hot cheese and get more health and hunger. 4. Lava turns diamond armor into netherite. 5. Build houses made out of just crafting tables. Follow me for more amazing gamer news. Oh, please have mercy on me in the off- No, please don't. No mercy in the afterlife. <laughs> If you throw your armor into fire, it actually gets enchanted with fire Wow, protection. I didn't know that. TNT would enchant it with blast protection. Wow! You can pick up a spawner with a sick touch pickaxe and use it later for mob farms. If villagers are being too greedy, slap them in the face to get a special discount. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually fell for this. <laughs> It is so cruel. Now we need a ghost type evolution called Depression that only evolves when Eevee has zero happiness and is holding a noose from. Oh my. This is. Holy. Sh no! This is so sad. I gave myself a chocolate ice cream and got my seven year old brother one with refried beans. Imagine if they've had, like never had chocolate before or something like that. If it's a really young kid and this is your first introduction to make sure like, nah, I don't want my kid eating sweets. So I'm just going to give them this thing and tell them it's chocolate and then they don't like it and they're never going to eat chocolate. This sounds like some hyper toxic gaslighting way of forcing your kid to like an infinite diet or something. This could be like a Cinderella thing. And to access this page, piece together and scan this QR code. That That's like the next level of demonic capture. Are you kidding me? Mom, online. Why the hell did you tell your father BDSM stands for burgers, drinks, and salsa music? He just invited Bob and Agnes to come over tonight for a BDSM party. We are not done talking about this. <laughs> and they accepted? Did they know what it stands for? 
God, that's amazing. Oh, yes, indeed. Bob and Agni are really freaky when it comes to the barbecue neighborhood parties. He took up two spaces but bought two tickets. So when you want to be a butthole but want to be a butthole legally. That could be a subreddit, like legal asshole. Or maybe it's like malicious compliance. That's basically, okay, it's sort of a thing already, I guess. But it's still beautiful. I love this. 183,000 upvotes. I edited my comments so you will never know how I got this many likes. The universe has a lot of unsolved questions that we may never fully understand. There is no reason to add to that number. I am an introvert myself, but wanted to try bullying my own kind. A guy my age walked into a store I was in and stood around for a bit. So I walked up to him and started talking about milk. At the end of it, he was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and left. I felt powerful. I felt good. That's the bar for bullying. Walk up to random stranger. Talk about milk. Make them awkward. Make them suffer. No need to thank me. It obviously a joke. If a country needs more money, then should just print more. <laughs> this is actually a very bad thing to do, as explained by the 34th rule of economics. Look up rule 34 inflation for more information. Uh, no, that's not a rule of economics. That means something else. That's not. Don't don't search for that, please. Thank you. I mean, I have no idea what that is. I no no clue. I don't. I no. So when you want to put up a chandelier in your house, make sure to not do it symmetrically. <laughs> you had like a nice center pattern to put it in the middle of. Why would you put it here, you awful human? Bought my son a 300-piece toolkit and a toolbox for his 15th birthday. I stole his 10 millimeter. He needs to learn the struggle is real. I am full of life lessons. That's that's a good paw right there. I'm going I'm a holding you up for life, dear son. Oh yes, indeed. What doesn't kill us prob probably traumatizes us. Hail belly doorbell, push button, we will hear you. Yeehaw, it's very ecological because you are the one making the sound. It's like biking to work. You're the one pushing yourself forward with your own bodily energy. Isn't that beautiful? I wish that every time any of my enemies eat a soft food, they hear a crunch. Every time. That's pretty evil. That's pretty evil. Yeah, I just imagine eating like a soft mousse or something like that. And every time he says, that felt like a toenail. What do you say to your neighbor after running over their cat? I'm a dog person. <laughs> Just shrug. Eh, you know, I've always been a dog person. <laughs> if I owned a company that made hearing aids, I would give them away for free to deaf people. But they would play unskippable, unmutable ads every half hour. This could be an episode of Black Mirror. Oh my god, I imagine some kind of future episode where someone has hearing aid, and they're about to do something important, but ads start playing, and something horrible happens. This- this, this is too close to reality. I took the fries and put them in the little ketchup thing and put the ketchup in the fry thing. Whoever did this, stay the frick away from me. Oh, that's- but- but- but isn't that a bit too much ketchup? I mean, you can drink it after you're done, I suppose. It's just a- it's just a refreshing thing. You know, ketchup, it has sugar. It's technically liquid. It has a fruit in it, because tomatoes is fruit. It's the vegetable fruits. And it's nice color. So, you know, by all definitions, uh, ketchup is a soda. Enjoy. <laughs> We just need carbonated ketchup now. <laughs> this should be illegal. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> this should be illegal. Oh my god. <laughs> the screams of death. Can you imagine that? You get on one of these things and the guy's just like, Oh, my bad. You don't have a seatbelt. Let me just... I would literally die. I feel so bad for these people, but I can't help by laughing. Oh my god. Hold on, it's showing red on your seatbelt, so I gotta come uh -oh. check it. Uh-huh. That is so... Oh my... This is like some traumatization. Do you think he has invested in like psychology stocks or therapist stocks? And then he just does this to people and be like, <laughs> all the mental health stuff is going to be needed after this. Hell yeah. Look at my investments. It goes up more than crypto. Oh, my TikTok fans. Hi. Oh, hi. Hold on, ladies. I got the major thing. I forgot the shoulder straps. I got to get it real quick. Hold on. As if these things aren't like tummy tickling enough as it is. Wait, they know what's going on. Hold on, I didn't hook your seatbelts in right. I gotta fix them. Hold on. <laughs> you better do it. 
I wonder if they were in on it that I had seen the TikToks before. That'd be so funny to go to this dude, but just be in on it and you know what's happening and either like overplay it or just give ridiculous reactions. I would love to do that. Oh my god, I might go to this place just to do that. To survive in the wild, you need a reliable source of water. Terry, your face looks like a turd. Oh. <laughs> You also get refilled of minerals quite nicely. This is like a sports drink. Is there a light gray pane here? Uh, I would say like I'm colorblind, but everything is a gray, so I can't even justify it with that. Second row, second panel, in case it was hard to see. Wait, someone edited this? Hold on. Let me, let me see, let me see. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, second one on the, on the second row. Yeah, there it is. You can see it when you change around the contrast and stuff a bit. Beautiful. We cracked it. Take that, Satan. Apparently, when animating Zootopia, Disney found it smoother to work in 34 frames per second rather than the more common 30 FPS of their previous films, and even made it a rule that all new animators learn to animate in 34 FPS going forward. Search up Zootopia through 34 to learn more. No, don't search it up. That's not what it means. It's fake news. So you know in the morning times when you wake up and you run out of milk for your juicy cereals? Improvise. Use orange juice. Mmm! White shell. It's like a blue shell but inverted. White shell, blue spikes and wings hits the person in last place just to be a pee pee. Well, I just want to say that I'm a huge fan. That's so evil! Is this... Uh, is this a thing that's happening? Is this a thing we can get? Because I'm so sick in Mario Kart of like the person in last place always nuking me with blue shells. It would be so good to just be able to send it back for once. It's not going to do me any favors, but he's kind of like poking it, being like, I know what you did, and I'm going to punch you back. So we built a kitchen, and we decided to just scooch the sink because we're just artistic like that, you know? Sh yes. Telling my friend's sister I will give her 20 bucks if I can pour two cups of water on her. Okay. So that's one cup. Why, Grady? <laughs> oh, that is so stupid. Oh, that is so stupid. I love it. Oh. Well, laddies, lasses, and lads, I do hope you enjoyed this devious video as much as I enjoyed having you here. Remember, the plushies are right right now for a very limited time only. Pick them up now before it is too late forever and you'll regret it for the rest of your mortal days. You have to bring with them to the glorious hellfire. Anyway, I hope I see you in the very next video in the very near future and have an amazing rest of your day. Mwah. Yeah!